So ponytail man bun are two different things, but I got <laughs> I got one of those too. Keeping the man bun all the time. Right. You ready? Yeah. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna run y'all down my step-by-step -step process on doing a skin taper while keeping his man bun up top. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and let's get started. And before we start, shout out to my man, Mas Money, for the tutorial request, and I hope you enjoy, man. Okay guys, so here to start, I'm gonna start by dampening the hair just so that it's a little more manageable and easier to handle. Then I'm gonna quickly, uh, with a hair tie and a comb, just kind of pull up any unwanted hair that we will not be touching in the haircut. And make sure you kind of check in with the client as to see what exactly or, or how much exactly to part out of the way. Um, Cause I mean, that's always gonna be preference. Then I'm gonna quickly come in with my blow dryer and uh, just kind of nicely blow dry his hair down so that it lays down flat and it's not kind of sticking up or there's no like frizz poking out. Next, I'm gonna grab my one guard open to do my debulking work. And I'm only gonna debulk right here where I know I will set down my first guy line just so that it's easier to see and there's not like so much hair in the way. Next with the two guard open, I'm gonna come in and quickly just take away all the hair that's underneath of the parting. Next, I will start setting in my guidelines. I'm gonna set my first one down with the clipper lever closed, and I'm gonna start right here, right about where the temple peak area coming down to the top of his ear. I still felt like this hair was in the way, so I grabbed a couple of clips just to kind of move it out of the way. And uh, basically, I'm just gonna follow up that guideline from the temple areas and uh, just continue it down to the backside and then follow it along to the opposite side of his head. Next, I'm gonna come in with the clipper lever open and I'm gonna set down my second guideline coming up about a half inch high or a finger in length, you could say. And I'm gonna follow it going parallel, running parallel with the first guideline that we set. Make sure you try not to apply so much pressure and just with like soft, gentle strokes you lay down these guidelines just so that they're not so harsh to blend out. Next, I'm gonna grab my one guard open lever and I'm gonna set down my third guideline. And uh, again, I'm gonna just come up about a half inch or another finger in length using scooping motions, like, like scooping out motions, you could say. And I'm gonna follow it along again, just running parallel to the prior guidelines. Next, I'm gonna grab my two guard open lever and I'm gonna come up just blending out anything else that's left under his, uh, his parting before we come in and start blending out his guidelines. Make sure you're always combing away or brushing away any loose hair that you're cutting as, you, as you're progressing throughout the process, just so that you maintain a clean workspace throughout the whole haircut. Okay, and as you see here, now we have our three guidelines that need blending. 
I'm gonna start by taking out the uppermost guideline, starting with the one and a half clip open lever to about three quarters. Notice that I like to kind of come in using the corners of the clippers as that kind of helps me get a little more detailed when it comes to blending out these guidelines. And um, yeah, just continue that process until you get it completely blended out. And we're just gonna move forward and continue the process on the back side and the opposite sides of his head. Now that we're done with that guideline, we're gonna move forward with the half clip, keeping the lever in the same position to the third quarter, and we're gonna focus on taking out this middle guideline. And again, using only the corners of the clippers, finessing the clipper in any kind of angle that you need to, just so that you can get it completely blended out. You'll notice that it kind of leaves a little dark area behind, as this guard won't completely take out this middle guideline. But don't worry, just as long as you're only taking out the initial start of this guideline, Right now we'll come back in with a, a higher guard, the one guard, and uh, we'll finish taking out this middle guideline completely. So like I said, next we're gonna come in with the one guard, keeping the lever in the same position to the third quarter and finish taking out this middle guideline completely. The whole blending process takes a lot of time and a lot of patience so just kind of keep that in mind and try not to get overwhelmed just focus on taking out a little section at a time and don't move forward until you feel you got that section that you're working on taking out completely and now we're left with our last guideline for this one I'm gonna come in with the clipper lever closed and then I'll open it halfway and then all the way just to finish taking out this last guideline you'll see that I start with it closed and then I gradually open it as I move a little higher just moving up a little bit at a time so you see here now i open it halfway and just continue the blending process moving up a tad bit then i just open the lever all the way just to finish tying in the blend all together And we're going to continue this exact same process on the back side and the opposite side of his head as well. Again guys, starting with the clipper lever closed, as you see here. And then right now you'll see me come in, moving up a tad bit higher when I open the lever halfway. And then I open it all the way just to finish the whole process. And we're just gonna repeat the exact same steps on the left side taper, just so that we match the whole blend throughout his whole haircut.
And once you're done with this whole process, you're gonna start your touch-up work. Me, I felt like I needed to come in with the half clip, lever open to about three quarters, and looking for any little inconsistencies in the blend, or dark spots, I should say. Coming in with the corners of the clippers and just digging them out until we feel the whole blend is all tied in as smooth as possible. And next we're gonna focus on taking out all the underneath hair. First I'll come in with my trimmers upside down as that leaves a little balder guideline. And then I'll quickly flip them right over and uh, take out the little faint line that it leaves behind. And then right here where his beard, where I'm transitioning into the beard, I start about like midway of his ear and uh, take out that hair. And then I'll come in with my electric shavers and just shave up until that little left, that little faint line that we left behind. And we're gonna continue that process on the back side and the opposite side of his taper just to just so that we can completely bought out all the underneath hair. Make sure you're using your electric shaver as soft as possible so that you're not um, creating any dark lines as you come up closer to the fade. So as you do come up closer to the fade, make sure you're kind of pulling clipper, the clipper out. For his facial hair, he wanted it trimmed down to a three guard. So uh, I used the three guard to take it all out. And then uh, I'm gonna come back in right now and just basically taper in from the sideburns into his beard. And next I'm gonna just come in and blend down into the beard. So I'll come in first with the clipper lever open and then I'll close it and blend right above it. And then I'm gonna grab the one guard lever open set down my second guideline and then to blend up right above that I use the half guard open to about three quarters to blend up to blend out that guideline that the one and a half set and then I'll use the trimmers just to kind of blend out any little dark spots that you might have seen then I'm gonna just start his liner process with the liner process I try to stay as natural as possible with it and I'll first you quickly just brush down all his hair make sure it's laid down nice and flat before coming in with your trimmers and uh, setting in your, your lines. You don't really get a, a box in the front, but I will just shape up the sides of his temple area. And then I'll also just line up his beard work before we come in with a straight razor. And before you come in with your straight razor, it's always a good idea to kind of use some kind of lubrication, some shaving gel or shaving lotion, just so that you don't irritate the skin. And then uh, I'll just shave away all his hair. Um, you'll see that I use my opposite hand to kind of tug and create more tension in the skin, as that just helps the blade glide with um, a little more ease. When I line up the top of the beard, first I'll come in with a straight razor and quickly kind of set in my guideline as to where I want the desired lineup to be. And then I'll flip the razor upside down and shave against the grain the remaining hair that's on his upper cheek so that we get a closer shave. The mustache area is a pretty sensitive spot to most people, so make sure you have them tug their skin as much as possible so that you don't cause any irritation. I always like to shave away most of the hair first and then I'll come back and uh, shape into the lineup just so that it uh, leaves a sharper edge. And next I'm gonna just apply a little bit of enhancements. For this one I'll use like a, a white eyeliner pencil and I'll kind of just paint it onto the onto his, all of his lineup work and then I'll kind of blend it into his forehead using my trimmers throughout his whole haircut. And this is just to help the lineup pop. This is something that's always gonna be preference so Make sure you consult with your client and make sure he agrees to getting it done. And then to finish this haircut, I'm gonna just come in with a little bit of some matte pomade 
just to lay down his hair as much as possible so that it gives it a smooth finish but that's pretty much it guys here's the before in case y'all forgot and uh here's the after i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and were able to take some tips home from it and uh yeah give it a thumbs up if y'all enjoyed it also guys make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all aren't already and uh leave us any feedback again guys my name is sergio barron this is faded culture thank y'all for watching i'll catch y'all in the next video peace